exercise. Thirteen point one ten six P. We're trying to show this one. Alpha plus theta. I suppose so. Uh, alpha and beta of U is supposing. Um, alpha. So, okay. okay, well, let's start to it together. <laughs> I think, yeah, this form is looks like a Looks like you can try to start with thirteen point fifteen. But um one of the now. And put over n and over n. Right, so that uh, there's some similarity between this one and uh, what you try to what you try to show and. So there's a gamma function with this argument to alpha plus i beta. So supposedly we can substitute z equals to alpha plus i beta and p and see what happens. And then the right tensor has something similar, but it's just alpha. So basically that one with our beta. So, um, This one is in the denominator, this this one is not so well. But we can, these are just sum over, um, multiplying all terms, so uh, we, just, we can just take the inverse of each, each factor. So you can in, invert that one. So then, if we just, uh, the C becomes one over C. This is E. The user Z equals to I think. This is E. Y. And now this one will be in the denominator. And this one just inward that you can see. Then divided by one plus C over N. Okay, so that's a that's a negative sign. And this is a Right, so uh, the next step, uh, this is uh, the absolute value, right? And so uh, you can take the absolute value of that. And this is exponential function. C becomes alpha plus i beta, absolute value of, of the e to the i something, of something real. So assuming alpha and beta is a real, will give you one. So you always know that. I hope you know the e to the beta is one, right? So if beta is, um, if beta is real, right? 
So what you pick up is uh, either the minus part of it, uh, gamma alpha. The beta one is as as one plus one, so you get rid of that. And this is absolute value of z, which is, I mean, you can write it out explicitly if you want, if you like. It is this good, this good, this good. Now the same thing here. You need to do alpha or n. Then uh, this one is a little more complicated. This is alpha plus i beta. So this will be one plus alpha is in Okay. So we have taken the absolute value already. So wait, uh, I, I haven't taken the uh Well, that, that is fine. So this, these are all part, this exponential function will be all positive. Absolute values are always positive. Positive, this is positive. Everything is positive. Okay. Okay, that's, that's fine. And now the right hand side has this gamma alpha. Just gamma alpha. Basically the same as this one. So this one, this one has beta, this one, uh, this one has no, no beta, so uh, you can just write it out explicitly if you want. Just get rid of all the beta. This becomes just alpha, actually absolute value of. And likewise, this is uh, this is get rid of that. This is just well, absolute. If you want, just one out and absolute value. And this is so far so good. So to sh to show that, so you have, you have this one is this one, this one is this one. So to show that to show this relationship, you can divide this one, divide this one to the other side. So this divided by that. So basically, take the ratio of these two. So. The left hand side is this ratio, the right hand side is the ratio between these two. So therefore you get rid of the, all the exponential function. There's no exponential function over here. Which are all the exponential functions that which uh, looks like it could help. Um, so you divide it by this one, at least the, let's see, it's just, uh, divide alpha square inside this with one plus beta square. Okay. And let's see if so we can do the same trick. Divide this inside. Is that would be one plus beta square is n square. And 
one plus I times two. Let me see. If it looks like so. We want to show this equals we got one. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This is similar. Okay, the square of alpha square, one half. And I mean, this is one half, this is not minus one half, so it's the same. So, the multiple n square inside, or n, yeah, n square inside the square. Right. N square inside the square become n. N plus i square. Okay, so this alpha plus as is just the same, it's alpha plus n. Okay, so it's the form is the same. The only thing change is this from zero to infinity. This is one to infinity. So let's, if you add the zero factor, which means this is zero, it's theta squared divided by alpha squared, which is exactly this factor. So you can include that into this uh, infinite product. But the adding the zero term, so that will be substituted. So basically, this is the same as that because I increase this by by so from instead of from one, I change it from zero. But the zero factor is just this. Okay.